So you want to become an influencer, but yet you sit there and think to yourself, I can't do that because I'm a regular person. I don't do anything interesting. My life is too boring. I just do like, you know, regular, degular stuff, right? And I'm a social media marketer, manager. I help people build their social media accounts. And I often get told the same thing by a bunch of my clients early on. And I always tell them, like, I completely disagree. So I'm going to give you a list of reasons of why any person should make a social media account, a YouTube page, anything like that, but especially why a quote unquote regular person should do so, right? So the very first reason is because if you're a regular person, right, that means that you do regular stuff that majority of people do, whether that means you just go to the grocery store, you walk your dog, you do chores around the house, you do your job, whatever that may be, and that makes you extremely relatable, People love relatable people. They love to watch things and be like, yeah, man, that's what I do. Like, literally, you can make a video of you walking your dog and just literally you're just romanticizing someone's life. Like, they already do that and they get to watch someone edit their life together. You know what I mean? It makes people feel good to see people doing the things that they enjoy doing. You know what I'm saying? So being relatable is one of the first reasons why a regular person should be an influencer. Another reason is because it's a great way to express yourself, especially for regular people, right? So Let's look at it with someone like one of the most popular YouTubers who's out here right now, right? Emma Chamberlain. Emma Chamberlain is a regular girl. You know what I mean? She likes to drink her coffee. She chills at home, makes her bed sometimes. You know what I mean? She's just vibing. But she's also expressing herself creatively, showing you her personality, showing you who she is, you know? And it's just good to be able to express yourself and have that creative outlet. I think that it's very healthy for everyone to have a creative outlet. You know what I'm saying? And YouTube's just a fun way to do it. YouTube, social media, like Instagram, TikTok, anything, you know, you can make your videos, edit them together and stuff like that. But you could also, if you're a writer, you could, you could write. I follow a, a Instagram account. I think it might be called inspired to write, but literally it's, someone who just writes on post-it notes sometimes writes on napkins they just write you know and they just they that's just a creative way to express themselves you know and you know if you like doing videos like me myself i love doing videos and it's a creative way to express myself so that's why we're always doing it right so that's going to move us on to the next reason right we got the reason of being relatable the reason of being able to express yourself and we also have the ability to build a community. So you're building a community of like-minded people. Because if you're doing the things you do every day, say you're you work an office job and you after your office job you go get a drink or something or you go have a coffee, you get hang out with your friends or whatever, you talk about your day at the office, a bunch of other people do that too. And now you're building a community. You know what I'm saying? Because if you're on YouTube, then you're also probably on Instagram. I like Instagram. I feel like it's the most personable social media out there. But yeah, so you're probably on Instagram and people can go follow you on Instagram. And if you're really good at building community, you can bring these people beyond Instagram. You could have your own, your own like group chats of of some sorts. Like, uh, what are the ones that people use? My boys use it a lot. I don't know, they use it for gaming and stuff, but yeah, you make different group chats, and I think it's just a really good way to build community, you know, you could have events, throw events, you could throw virtual events, there's just, the the possibilities are, are endless with building community with this, I've built a lot of community online, I personally use Instagram the most, I'm not necessarily in the group chats as much, but that's just because I'm bad at checking notifications, and I feel like group chats get so far, but on Instagram, it's really easy to build, like, local events, or build digital events, you know, where you can go on live, you can tell people to meet you on live on different platforms, like TikTok, and it's just really cool to be able to have people keep up with 
your life and people will enjoy that and be a part of the community that you're creating. All right. So that's moving us to our second to last point, which is one of your fate. I know this one's going to be everyone's favorite. This is probably the main reason you even thought about getting into content creation. Maybe, maybe not. Maybe. Who knows, though? But the potential to make money, the potential to make money is definitely there. There's so many people who do it. And it doesn't have to be just like for making videos and your AdSense. You could start a company and just use your vlog to like promote it. For example, say you're a realtor, right? You don't even have to be making vlogs that are just like, hey, this is me being a realtor. You can just be making vlogs about your day-to-day life or making videos about things you like. And just the fact that you're doing that, people will be like, I just feel like I know this person a little better, so I want to get my service from them, you know? And you do obviously have the ability to make money on the actual platforms, whether that be through AdSense, whether that be through getting brand deals and a bunch of stuff like that. And we do have videos explaining how those things work and how to get your very first, you know, brand deal and sponsorship. But if you're watching this video, it means that you're probably still thinking about, should I be doing this? And you're, you know, you're just dipping your toes in yet. So I'm not gonna, that's why it wasn't the first reason. I think that it, it's not the very first thing you should think about, but it is a plus that's added in there. And my favorite reason for thinking everyone should, you know, document their life in some way especially on youtube is because you get to literally document your life and look back at it like you if you like think about youtubers like casey neistat if you don't know who casey neistat is casey neistat's like one of the vlogging og grandfathers like like if you're if you're a youtube nerd you know about casey neistat and casey neistat vlogged every day for over i think like 800 days which is insane but what's also really cool is that he can look back and watch those things he says that like his daughters like he has young daughters who like can go and look back at those videos and just see little remnants of themselves when they were babies or what their dad was doing and what it was like for him at that time and i just think that's awesome imagine like if if not for anything imagine you made a bunch of videos and 40 years later your freaking kids are showing their like your grandkids videos of you when you were young and they're like oh man that's you that was so cool you were so blah 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 you know what i mean because obviously we'll change over time and and you know become different versions of ourselves but look i hope that this is the sign you needed to start your youtube channel and if you want more information on it we're posting a bunch more videos all about this stuff hope you enjoyed it like, comment, subscribe. It's your boy, Samad Sinclair. Follow me on my social medias all down below. Peace out.